This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. As the year draws to an end, America faces yet another congressionally manufactured crisis, which will likely end in yet another 11th hour compromise, resulting in more government growth touted as saving the economy. While cutting taxes is always a good idea, setting up a ticking time bomb with a sunset provision, as the Bush tax cuts did, is a terrible policy. Congress should have just cut taxes, but instead we have a crisis that is sure not to go to waste. The hysteria surrounding the January 1st deadline for the Budget Control Act spending cuts and expiration of the Bush tax cuts seems all too familiar. Even the language is predictably hysterical. If government reduces plan spending increases by even a tiny amount, the economy will go over a fiscal cliff. This is nonsense. This rhetoric is based on the belief that government spending sustains the economy, when in fact the opposite is true. Every dollar the government spends is a dollar taken from consumers, businessmen, and investors. Reducing spending can only help the economy by putting money back in the hands of ordinary Americans. Politicians who claim to support the free market and the lower and middle class should take this to heart. The reality is, however, that neither Republicans nor Democrats are serious about cutting spending, even though the U.S. military spending is exponentially larger than any other country and is notorious for its inefficiencies and cost overruns, Republicans cannot seem to stomach even one penny of cuts to the Pentagon budget. This is unfortunate because this is the easiest, most obvious place to start getting spending under control. The military-industrial complex and unconstitutional overseas military interventions should be the first place we look for budget cuts. Similarly, Democrats are digging in their heels on not cutting any welfare or entitlement spending and instead propose to fix the deficit by raising taxes on the rich, even though the U.S. government already has a progressive tax code and the rich already pay more than their fair share. Furthermore, these higher taxes would fall on small business owners, investors, and entrepreneurs. In other words, the source of economic growth and new jobs. This is why you took this job? To harm peaceful people? What the fuck are you talking about? The truth is that there is no excuse for government spending being as high as it is, nor for taxes being as high as they are. Even the God of the Old Testament only asked for 10% as a tithe and offering, and Americans revolted against the King of England for taxes that amounted to less than 5%. Yet so many people today complain about loopholes for the rich that lower their actual tax rate to only 13% in some instances. Even that is a criminal amount to pay for a wasteful, abusive, unconstitutional government. We are indeed headed to a fiscal cliff and have been long before this latest hysteria cropped up. But it's not cuts to spending or reduced government revenues that will send us over the cliff. It is the continued government spending that will. Until the federal government limits itself to its constitutionally mandated role, spending and taxation will remain out of control. Look for a bipartisan compromise in late December with Republicans giving in to tax increases and settling for a phony spending cuts that actually grow government and Democrats caving on defense cuts in exchange for tax increases. This is how the government has always grown. Both sides will sacrifice their pro-liberty small government stances in certain areas in order to grow the government where they prefer. Liberty always loses in the 11th hour. This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Some call it the best site to create a free online Bitcoin wallet. They have apps for Android and iPhone. Plus, get this. Blockchain lets the encryption for your account happen inside your browser. That way even the site's owner can't access the account. It's just for you. Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go.